we will be doing this question that appeared in deep code by weekly contest 103 that is maximum number of fish in a grid and the given question statement question statement that is here is actually pretty similar or we could say a little variation of a lead code question that is already present here which is flood fill or number of islands which is already present in lead code if you go search you'll just find it apart from that i'll explain the question statement in a very simpler manner here we have to use graph algorithms or we can use simple dfs in order to solve these questions but if you want to actually solve this you should know basic dfs now flood fill and number of island question has already been uploaded in my channel if you want you can refer it from there i will be linking it in the description so you can check it out from there now coming on to the question statement if you have already solved some dfs question basic level also you'll be able to do this now in order to do this question let's understand the question statement so they have already given you a matrix this is given to you now they have said all the zero marked are land and all the values which are present here which are greater than zero are fishes here which is let's just say water cell okay these are water cells that means here are the fishes now they have said you can move in four directions if there is some fish or if that is a water cell so this is a water cell right here okay so let's just say if you start from here what can you do you can move in four direction by moving four direction we mean up down left and right this is how the four direction movement comprises of now let's just say you start from this cell now you can go to a uh, nearest that is the adjacent water cell that is which is having a fish so you can go to this left but you cannot go to this right why because this zero represents a land cell you cannot go to a land and you are fisherman right now so you can go to this two now when you go to this two what will you do you'll catch this fish right here now the total number of fishes that you have caught so far is three now if you see you have no options you cannot go up because there's no water cell obviously it is out of bound here you cannot go because this uh, land cell here also you cannot go that is a land cell so if you start from one or even two what will happen you will only be able to catch three fish but they have said you have to maximize this so here you can start from anywhere as long as you can maximize the fish and what you can do is in order to maximize the answer you can either start from this four or three so if you start from three you can go to four and you'll catch seven fishes and likewise if you start from four you can again go to three so this is a valid movement that we can do so in order to do this problem we'll just apply simple dfs again i'm telling you please do watch the video you'll be able to understand it perfectly here what we are going to do is we are just going to start iterating for every cell that means we'll be creating a visited array that means we will say that have i visited that cell beforehand or not if i've already visited that i will never visit that again but if i have not visited what will i do i can start catching the fishes from there so initially everything will be filled with zero so this matrix is a visited array which is having all zeros right now okay so just understand the intuition behind this dfs process and if you do it you'll be able to learn dfs here itself and then we'll move on to the code part and it will be very clear to you now what are we going to do you can only start from a water cell remember so let's just see we started our iteration on our matrix obviously this is neglected because that is a land cell we cannot start from there now this is a water cell obviously you can start it from here now what are we going to do we are just going to simply start our dfs that is we we'll start catching our fishes from here now from this cell if we try what can we uh, what can we achieve we can achieve for now two fishes okay now what are our possibilities we can go either right left up and down so we'll try every possibility okay so the up left and down possibility can never happen why because that is a land cell now since in this cell you have already caught your fish what are you going to do you are going to mark this as visited that means you have already caught a fish here now you move on to the only path you can go on to that is to the right now you go there you say okay i'll now just catch whatever fish i have here also now you'll mark this also as visited now if you see you do not have any option to go anywhere else now can you say that you'll go here again obviously not if you see in dfs what happens is we can again backtrack that means we will go again back to this cell but to prevent that what are we doing we are just maintaining our visited array that means i have already come from this cell that means i've already caught these two fishes i cannot go back there that is the reason why we are maintaining a visited array right here after that we see we have exhausted all the possibilities of moving from here what we are left with is three so one of the variables will be maintaining what is the maximum fish we have caught so far now we'll come on to this cell you see we cannot do anything about it now we come on to this cell so remember in a for loop we'll be just iterating over the matrix all over until and unless we are 
exhausted with our visited array and we have completely visited all the visitable cell that we can actually so now we come on to this four now from this four where can we go we can go down that is to this and how many fishes can we catch in total that is four plus one five now this part is also done it will come on here we cannot do anything about it because that is a land cell here when we reach here we'll see that okay right now we can do it again sorry about this we'll mark this as visited remember whenever you visit some cell you will mark this as visited so that you do not visit that cell again otherwise it will give you a tle obviously so when we come on to three we see that we can go below also so total in total we have seven now we'll mark these also again as true so at last when you see that whatever cells you have gotten seven would be the maximum and that is what you have to return now you might be having a question if we have three four and zero right here what if we had one so if you would have had one here you will see that in this process you would have already visited this now you might have another question since we are traveling our matrix like this at first so we will reach this three first and we will visit this whole thing yes obviously now you might be thinking when we go like this again we will encounter four are we going to visit this again obviously not why because remember we were maintaining a visited array since we were maintaining a visited array everything will be marked visited that is by one and if it has already been visited we will never visit that again so this is the whole intuition about this part now let's come on to the code part which is very easy all we are doing is we are just maintaining a visited array right here after that we are just iterating over the row column of our matrix and if it has already not been visited and it is a water cell what are we going to do we are just going to do a dfs and the number of fishes we can catch in that cell is this one right and the dfs will give us what so let's come on to the dfs code the dfs will give us the four directionally movement plus the number of fishes it can catch basically if you start from here what will happen when you go on to the dfs function it will simply just say what wherever you can go just go and give me all the fishes you can give me by catching it that is what the dfs function simply does by moving in all the four directions okay and you might be wondering what is this dx dy so let's just understand this in a simpler manner let's just say you are at a position 0 comma 0 now what are we having if you want to move down what will happen basically in your coordinates what change will happen this will remain 0 this will be changed to 1 right if you go down you change your which coordinate sorry about this we change our x coordinate not y coordinate so if you are moving from row comma column that is 0 0 to below what is having you are incrementing your row by one isn't it and if you are moving to the right what will happen you will increment your column by one so if you are moving to the right what will happen you will increment your column by one if you are moving left what will happen you will decrease your column by one isn't it and if you are moving up you will decrease your row by one and the column will remain same so that is what i have written here if you are moving up minus one comma zero so that is how we are maintaining a direction in a simpler manner now you can also simply write four dfs conditions that is you can write at a time that i am moving one above x minus one and y will remain as it is you can also do this but this is a, a neat manner you could say it in order to do it so in this dfs function what are we doing we are just simply saying if you have already visited or if it is out of the bound return zero if you are visiting it for the first time mark it visited otherwise you go into your loop and you check in which index can you go next and if you can indeed go next what are you going to do you add your fish number into this answer variable and go to the next possible position where you can go that is the nearest possible water cell in the four direction if you can indeed go there and again do this recursively and after you have done recursively at the end of the day just return the answer and here we are maintaining simply the maximum value of the fishes that we can catch in overall matrix and if you can catch it definitely return the maximum value otherwise if there is no cell that you can go on to we will return zero at the end of the day so this is it for this one if you want the code it will be in the description as well and